How do you like them apples? We already saved the world once. This was just our encore. Wow! We really won! See? I told you. But will it be enough? For that monster to truly disappear, everyone's feelings must change. To stop the heart's yearning for destruction, it's a formidable task. People try to keep death at bay, but without it, they lose sight of life. It may be that there's no way to fully eliminate this monster. No. I'm sure we can do it. I guess... We can all change someday. As long as we're alive, it can happen. After all, even I was able to do it. You got that right. If we want the world to change, we have to believe it'll happen. People aren't that hopeless. We should know that already. Hey, I guess... Um... I need to apologize to you. I said some really horrible things. I think it really bothered me the way you received the same power that he had. All I could think was, why wasn't it me? <laughs> it was jealousy, plain and simple. Okari's son. But really, it wasn't because you were the chosen one or anything. It was because of the way you felt. <laughs> you really never do stop thinking about him. We all wanted to protect him, but... Out of all of us, you must have felt the strongest. If there wasn't a seal, the world would soon yearn for Nyx again. That's why he's here. For us. Even if we went back to before the last battle, the world wouldn't be saved unless he did the same thing. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see it before. If there was an easier way, he would have taken it. Yukari. It's still sad, but if I think of him as protecting us forever, it helps a lot. Me too. I feel like I can breathe easier now that I know what really happened to him. Yeah, now that we know the truth, I feel like the blinders have been removed. All we could do before was see him go. But now, I finally feel like we've gotten closer to him. I guess... Let's use that key and go back. To our time. I'm ready to start the morning of April 1st. Of course. Well then, I guess if you would. Right. Um, there's something I have to say, but I'm not sure how to put it. I'm really happy to have known all of you. A lot's happened in the past few days. But over time, it'll make our friendship stronger, you know? But hey, don't say it like that. It sounds like you're saying your goodbyes. <laughs> you're right. I see. Friendship. What gives you life? What makes you realize you're alive? If it isn't just death, if there's something else, it could be friendship. Is this the answer to life I'm supposed to find?
Congratulations, sister. Where am I? Huh? What is this place? Hey, wait a second. What's going on here? This isn't the front of the dorm. Everyone, what's going on? There is no need to worry. I only summoned you here that we might say our farewells. I am rather surprised, though. I did not expect your friends to follow you here. It seems the power of the wild card within you has influenced them as well. Huh? I guess you know them? This is where those who are about to awaken to their power receive guidance. My sister and your friend were guests here. Wait. How come you're standing there smiling like you know it all? Don't you remember what I said before? My place is here, on the other side. The abyss of time will soon disappear. Time will flow again, and you will return to your daily lives. Congratulations, sister, and the rest of you as well. Sister, you said before that you promised to protect him. If you've truly come to appreciate your ties to others, I think you can still keep that promise. What? Someday, when more people come to realize that, the world will stop yearning for Nyx, and that monster will be vanquished. For that day to come, your every action will be important. Isn't that another way of protecting your friend? I... can still keep my promise? Metis, who are you really? Won't you tell us? I think... she's the other me. I couldn't bear the pain of losing him, so I wished to be a mere machine again. You must be... the part of myself I wished away. My lonely sister, always afraid of being left alone. You came to help me acknowledge and confront the pain of living. I finally understand. I only wish I had realized it much sooner. Sister. All life shares a sea deep within its soul. I think that's where I came from. Your heart is connected to that sea as well. You're truly alive now. From now on, we'll always be together. Sister, I'm coming home. Welcome back. I feel... tired. I haven't felt this way in a while. When I went back to being a machine, I no longer required sleep. Hmm. It seems our guest has safely reached her destination. Her answer to life. Answer... to life? Please. Tell me, now that I've found my answer, is my life at its end? End? What? Huh? What do you mean? I guess... 
It's strange. I feel so satisfied. I guess you... You're not... No! This isn't happening! I think... I'm finally at peace with losing him. Odd. For some reason... The tears are only now coming. I should have attended his farewell. I was so foolish, locking myself away. Looking back... I remember that Metis would cry. To think I had discarded such a basic emotion. You've completed your ordeal splendidly. And come to the end of your journey. And now, we must part. Igis! Hey, you can't be serious! Igis! It's all right. Don't worry. No! Igis! You know, I think you can spread the message now. Not with words alone, but with everyone's passion and strength. If you could do that, he wouldn't have to bear the burden all alone, would he? And that's the weather. At the tone, the time will be midnight. Good evening. It is now April 1st. Here's a recap of the news from the 31st. Hmm? What? When did we fall asleep? Huh? What? Wait, is this? John? Aren't we... Aren't we gathered around the entrance? Talking about some kind of key? That's right. But it looks like everything's okay now. The outside world is back to normal. We can leave any time. So, the abyss of time has disappeared. The date! It's April 1st! So, that means we're saved, right? Woohoo! About damn time! Igus, wake up! We're safe! Come on, Igus! Wait a second. After we opened the front door with the key, we were brought to that room that looked like an elevator. And while we were there, I guess, son. Hey, I guess. How long are you gonna lie there? Wake up! I guess. Mitsuru Senpai. It's too early to reach any conclusions. Let's carry her to her room for now. We can keep an eye on her condition with the equipment there. Damn it. He's not waking up. How's it look, Fuka? Don't worry. I've used the system a number of times before. The equipment should be set up already, so... If 
only it wasn't so late at night. I'm sorry. I tried contacting the lab, but I doubt they'll be sending anyone right away. Well, I've almost got the Bioscan unit online. Is that it? Yes! Her vital signs are up on screen. Let's see. <gasps> no. This is awful. Did you find something? Her synaptic circuits... They're completely burned out. There was some sort of massive system overload that took her way over capacity. It's probably related to her new ability to use multiple personas. Burned out? But they can fix her, right? It's easy to replace the faulty parts, but she'll no longer be the Igus we all know. I guess. Hmm? Did you call me? I guess. Um, has something happened? Jeez, you had us worried sick, sleepyhead. You took so long to wake up, we thought you might have died. But how could this be? Her synaptic circuit shouldn't even be receiving power. It's as if she's really alive. Oh, I'm so sorry to have worried you all. I was having a dream. The first one in some time. Memories of time I spent with everyone and... Strength of heart when united is barred by no door. Oh, it's nothing. Sorrowful partings only show us the weight of our relationships. But the joy of living comes from those who care about you. I'm... a very lucky person. I guess. We were so close to each other. We suffered over the same things. <laughs> I feel pretty stupid now. I wonder why we both thought we were all alone. I guess we're more like each other than we thought. Whew. Well, looks like it all came out okay. Man, I was pretty freaked out there for a while, but I think we got our happy ending. Yeah, looks that way. <sighs> I'm bushed. Oh, crap. Now that we're not in any danger, I'm about to pass out. Maybe I can sleep standing up. Oh, Junpei-kun. Very well. Let's go back to our rooms and rest until morning. If there's anything left to do... Hmm. Actually, there is one thing I'd like to announce. About collecting everyone's evoker. I'm thinking of calling that off. Our ordeal has given me a lot of food for thought. My own way of running away may have been to try to collect these and put them away. Forever. But even if there are no shadows left, the battle against ourselves is ongoing. Each of you should hold on to yours. Until the day when everyone can change. Right? Let's see, I already shipped my large luggage. Did I forget anything? That was my contact. The car they sent for us will arrive shortly. What, are you taking everyone else along for the ride too? Their new dorms are on the way to the lab. It'll be a quick stop. I thought we might as well travel together, since we're all here. It would be dull otherwise. 
Where on earth is Junpei? I told him not to be late. <laughs> Junpei-kun? Ah, let him be. He's probably trying to carry everything at once. Same thing happened last year. Oh, but that sounded like it really hurt. Ow! My face! I hope no one saw that. <laughs> are you alright? Jeez, what a way to end this. Ah, there's our ride. Well then, shall we be off? Um... I... actually have a favor to ask. What is it? I know it might not be possible because it's so sudden, but is there some way that I can back out of returning to the lab? Before, I thought there was nothing left for me to protect, no reason to live. But now that I see otherwise, I'd like to go back to school with Yukari-san and everyone. I guess. I want to continue to experience new things with you all. Is it too late? Hmm. Even if I wanted to place you back in, I'm no longer involved with Gekukan High. Lady Mitsuru, your transportation has arrived. Thank you. Senpai! I'm sorry for the sudden change in plans, but our destination is now the school's Tatsumi Hall. The transfer to the lab has been cancelled. Then, Senpai? Now that's more like it. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be able to stay with you all. I'm still kind of sad to leave this place behind. Yes, but change is part of life. Hey, I guess, if you're gonna live in the dorms, you wanna be my roommate? Huh? I mean, you need one, right? But hey, no need to be so formal. We are friends, aren't we? Yeah, you're right. That was, this was a really, really, really enjoyable experience. I didn't know how I was going to feel about this. I legitimately did not know how I was going to feel about how this game would, how this um, game would be. I've heard many things up and down about the answer. And also, the song's actually really nice. I like this a lot. I was worried that it wasn't going to be particularly enjoyable. The grinding was a little heavy, but P3 regular grinding is heavy. Just, I would say this is a very nice addition to the story of P3. Was it 
particularly necessary, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's entirely necessary, but it was a nice realistic look. I guess as realistic as the Abyss of Time stuff could be. Look to how everyone was trying to deal with the grief of losing M MC, main character, hashtag protag swag, whatever you want to call him. This was a really, really, really fun experience. And I will admit, the more I started to get into it and the more deeper into the story we got, the more I wanted to play this. Like, I was originally against the idea of playing for the answer. I originally was dreading doing this. And in the beginning, I thought it was a little rough. But the more I played, the more I saw what was going on, the more I liked it. Because I'll be honest, this playthrough, the answer is two and a half years in the making. And is, it, is it two and a half? Or is it longer? It might be longer. This might be three years in the making, actually. Yeah, no. This is, no, this, this is, two, this is two and a half. Yeah, no. Because I started playing... I played Persona 3 my first semester of junior year. And I beat it over that winter break. I started it the day immediately. I started the answer immediately after beating it, and was like, "This is bullshit." No, and moved on. But this time we grit our teeth, we bared it, and we made it through. Really fun, well done story. I love the characters. The cinematics were great, and I like how it tied everything in from the opening sequence. I think that opening cutscene was a great way to start this game looking at how it ended and such but at that I really don't have a whole lot left to say just I enjoyed this very much this is probably not something I will ever repeat I will probably never do this again but it was really fun I, I you car is a selfish bitch yeah, she kind of redeemed herself a little bit. At least she apologized and recognized that she was wrong. But I will definitely say Yukari is a selfish bitch for that shit she tried to pull. That made me so mad. And my love of Mitsuru increased. My, my love of Mitsuru increases. It's really good. I am just gonna end this off here. Well, no. Before I end my talking, what I will say is you're probably not going to see a Persona game for me for a while. I'm going to leave the Persona series alone for a while. The next game on the list will be Persona 4. Which, I like that game a lot, but as I said, it's, it's my favorite between Persona 3 and 4, just because I like the characters better in P4. But I am going to leave P4 alone for at least a little while. So... Well, that being said, hopefully I can leave RPGs alone for a while because, Jesus, between this and the Kingdom Hearts series, I've just been ODing on RPGs just a little bit. So, that being said, thank you for watching. I've very much enjoyed making this project, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well and enjoyed me sharing the story with you. So I'll see you guys next time with whatever I have coming up next. But for now, enjoy the rest of these ending credits and the music. Although I don't suspect there's very much left. See ya!